In the previous video, I introduced you to DevOps GPT and explained how it works. In today's video, I will show you how to install and use it. To keep things simple, we will follow the GitHub README file for the DevOps GPT project. The first step is to install the RPM package on a Red Hat 9 server. Run the following command to install it. Once the installation is complete, the next step is to configure the service. After installation, DevOps GPT provides a binary called DevOps-GPT-Configure. Running this command will prompt you with a series of configuration options. While I have already explained these options in the previous video, here's a brief explanation. Check interval seconds defines the interval between checks. The default is 10 seconds, but you can adjust it based on your use case. Batch size specifies the number of errors processed in a batch. The default is 1, but you can modify it as needed. Maximum errors per batch sets the maximum number of errors in a batch. Default is 10. Error window seconds specifies the time window for tracking errors. Note, the batch size and maximum errors per batch seem redundant, and I plan to remove one in a future version. In the next step, choose and configure an LLM. DevOps GPT currently supports three LLM, OpenAI, Llama, DeepSeek. Let's start with OpenAI. To integrate OpenAI, you need an OpenAI API key. Important, using OpenAI API incurs costs based on the number of API calls. If you don't have an OpenAI API key, follow this link. The next step is to configure Slack notifications. DevOps GPT can send alerts to Slack based on its analysis. To enable Slack notifications, set up a Slack webhook. Link it with DevOps GPT. For a step-by-step -step guide on configuring Slack webhooks, check this link. The next step is to configure Amazon CloudWatch and CloudTrail. To monitor logs efficiently, DevOps GPT integrates with Amazon CloudWatch and CloudTrail. Requirements for Amazon integration. Amazon IAM credentials required to allow DevOps GPT access to CloudWatch and CloudTrail. Amazon region configuration should match the region where your CloudWatch and CloudTrail logs are stored. Follow this guide to configure CloudWatch and CloudTrail. Once configured, the settings are saved in etc slash devops gpt slash config dot yaml. Finally, start the devops gpt service. Now that the configuration is complete, start the service using systemctl command. To verify that the service is running, use status command. To automatically start devops gpt at boot use enable command. Now it's testing DevOps GPT with OpenAI. Now let's test it using the logger tool. To check the logs, use journal CTL command. Here's how the process works. First, DevOps GPT checks its SRE layer. If no relevant results are found, it queries OpenAI for analysis. Once analysis is received, an alert is sent to Slack. Let's repeat the same error and check the logs again. This time, DevOps GPT does not contact OpenAI because it caches previous responses to improve efficiency. Now we tested it with OpenAI. Let's test it with open source LLM DeepSeek. To use DeepSeek, you need to install Olama, an open source tool that lets users run LLMs locally. Run the following command to install Olama on your Linux machine. Once installed, start the Olama service to run DeepSeek execute. Configure DevOps GPT for DeepSeek. During configuration, select. Olama as the LLM option. Choose DeepSeek as the available model. If you want to test with Llama, first run Llama via Olama, then select the Llama 3 model during configuration. Final step, testing DeepSeek integration. Start the service and check its status. Now let's test it with DeepSeek on a different server. Note, the process may take 10-15 minutes depending on the number of GPU available. Testing Amazon, I have created test scripts to verify CloudWatch and CloudTrail integration. As expected, alerts are triggered in Slack when an anomaly is detected. Please give it a try and send me your feedback. Thank you.